Hello, everybody. Welcome along to Wednesday's House of Games. What a lovely week we're having on Friday. We're going to give away this trophy, but today we're just going to give away another daily prize to one of these four people. Andy Hamilton, <laughs> Sabrina Grant, Kirsty Walk, and Matt Edmondson. Hello, everyone. How nice Hi. to see you. Happy Wednesday. Andy Hamilton, what a win yesterday. Goodness yeah. me, a huge win. How did... Uh, sorry, I don't mean to say how did that happen, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, there were a lot of questions about the sugar babes. <laughs> As that it turns kind out, of played subject. into my, my forte. Loves the sugar babe. Uh, Sabrina, shall we take a little look at the weekly leaderboard? I'm afraid at the moment you find yourself in fourth, but that's OK. Kirsty, you are third, and Matt and Andy are dead level up the top now. What can we do, Sabrina, to get off the bottom of that leaderboard? Believe it or not, I'm playing better here than I do at home. <laughs> OK, that's good. <laughs> a, a what can we sixth, do? Sixth or seventh. We can level up today, that's what we can do. Level up, that's yeah. exactly... Go on, level up. That's exactly the thing. It's Wednesday. Uh, it's a level up Wednesday. Level up Wednesday. That's what they call it. Um, Kirsty, shall we take... The boys have both won a prize. I know. OK? Feels like your Sabrina should maybe take one home today. Shall we take a look at today's prizes? Yeah. Yeah. You could be taking home a toolkit, a hairbrush, a chopping board, mm. driving gloves, or the classic wheelie luggage. Any of those you fancy? I'd be taking the chopping board if I was lucky enough. No such thing as luck in this business. That's <laughs> as you well know. Matt Edmondson. Hello. What a win on Monday. Thank yesterday, you. Yesterday, like a lesson from Andy Hamilton. I got schooled. Yeah. So yeah. what do we think? Where do we go from here? I think Andy and I need to team up. And we need to take over the entire show. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. I mean, it, de it depends on what games come out, right? Shall we play? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good luck, one and all. On Monday, Matt Edmondson was our champion. On Tuesday, it was Andy Hamilton. Who is it going to be on Wednesday? Let's find out. <laughs> Sounds like things on buzzers, please, everybody. I'm going to show you a category. Your first category is cheeses. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some photographs and they will give you visual clues to a cheese. OK, so simply say what you see. These photographs sound like a cheese, but which cheese? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Matt. Ricotta. Ricotta, uh -huh. absolutely. Quick uh -huh. mail on the and Ricotta. You know, the really sad thing is I thought it was Richard Hammond. You thought it was Rick Mayer and Richard Hammond? I thought... <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe there's a cheese called Ham and Dotter that I've not heard of. Maybe I should try it. Yeah, it sounds like a Dutch cheese. Yeah. Oh, have you got a bit of a Ham and Dotter? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Mm. Here's your next cheese. <laughs> yes, Matt. Rock four. Rock four. Simple ah. as that. The rock and the number four. Rock four. And Andy thought that was Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> 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 yeah. Next cheese. Andy. Danish Blue. Well played. Uh, Danish Blue. Doris Day, Nish Kumar and the band Blue. <laughs> Nicely done, Andy. Uh, a new category now. Uh, Football clubs. Oh, wow. Here's your first one. <laughs> Matt. Sh Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, that's oh, good. Well played, Matt. Sheffield and Wednesday Adams. Well played, Sheffield Wednesday. Next football club. Yes, Sabrina. Aston Villa. Well done. <laughs> Aston Merigold and a Villa. Next football club. Sabrina. The wires, though. Something bruh. I'm not taking the sheep for a sheep. OK. I'm taking it for the sound it makes, bar. Oh, bar, OK. <laughs> Still feels like there's a lot of work. There's a lot of work to be done. I've buzzed yeah. in too soon. OK, so we time you out? Anyone? No. I'll give you a clue. That middle thing, it's not sheep, it's you. I was on to something. Man United? No. Well, you'd have to buzz in if you want to. No, it certainly can. Oh, it could be nothing about Matt. Matt. I was going to say AC. No, it's not going to, because they're, they're not... I, no, they're it's AD not AC United. United. No, 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 Sheffield... No, that's Wednesday. We've done that. There's a Sheffield United. Sheffield United? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first picture? I don't know what they it's are. Plugs. Wires. Scott. Oh, shall I tell you the answer? Yeah. Oh, you're going to be oh. mad. Leeds United. Oh! oh. Leeds oh, United. That's oh, I thought they were... That is oh. frustrating. Got there in the end. Well, I don't know if you got that at home. Last category in this round. British seaside resorts. Which sound like this. Uh, 
Yes, Kirsty. Ramsgate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Andy? Margate. Margate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking the shoot before, I was still in the... Uh, next seaside resort. <laughs> that is Kirsty. Torquay. Oh, well played. Thank Absolutely you. Torquay. Glastonbury tour there. And a key. And final question in this round. Which seaside mm. resort is this? Yes, that's Matt. I haven't got it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's perfectly all right, but I like the confidence of buzzing in. It's a lot of things happening in the first picture. Yeah. Could be mum, could be the baby. Have you got this at home? Because we haven't. Should we see the answer? Yeah. The answer is... Mumble. No, Mumble. No. Mumble. Mumble, that's hard. Oh, that's that hard. hard. <laughs> milk stampede, I thought. Milk stampede. <laughs> <laughs> once had a lovely weekend in milk stampede. Yeah, yeah. I did actually once have a lovely weekend in the Mumbles. It's beautiful. Yeah. But uh, I didn't get it from that. Well done if you did at home. Uh, it's the end of that first round. Fairly close, I think. Let's take a look at our first scoreboard of Wednesday. Sabrina and Kirsty, you have one point each. Andy, you have two. Monday's champion, Matt. Leads on Wednesday with three points. Well played. <laughs> Let's have a look at our next round, shall we? It is... My perfect match. It's a pairs game. The player in the last place gets to choose their partner. Kirsty, you and Sabrina are tied in third, so would you like to choose your partner today? I'll choose Andy. I'm going to play with Andy. We've so not played Sabrina together. Sabrina and Kirsty, for your swap places, please. First time we've Welcome. seen these teams. Hi, Hello. <laughs> yes. The more seasoned. This, I was going to say, without, with no offence, it seems generational yes. now. Yes. yes. The three of us and then uh, yeah. the youngster's corner. Yeah. Let's see who wins. I'm, fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, it's this. Um, now, in this round, I need you to find me my perfect match. And the first thing that I'm looking for in my perfect match mm. is this. I like somebody who wants to open a gourmet popcorn shop in Paris. That's, that's what I look for in a partner. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a thing, it's, uh, mm -hmm. I just like it. I like it. You listen, the heart wants what it wants. Uh, but who also has kept bees, OK? Those are the two things that would keep me interested in a relationship. So which of these two people are my perfect match? One of these people has done both of those things. Scarlett Johansson or Beyonce? Scarlett. Yeah, I think so, cos I think Beyoncé was a star from very no, young. No, 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 I think it's definitely Scarlett Johansson. Cos I think Beyoncé wouldn't have time to keep bees. I think we should go we Scarlett. Both we both were kind yeah. of thinking Scarlett. So we can both be instinctively wrong together. Yes, yes. And we, no one takes the blame. Yes. So you think Scarlett Johansson yes. is my perfect match? Let's find out. Is Scarlett Johansson my perfect match? <laughs> she is, she is. Very well played, a point to you. Beyoncé does keep bees. Does she? She's got 80,000 bees. Where'd she keep them? What? I don't know. Matt and Sabrina, I tire of Scarlett Johansson, and I'm looking for a new perfect match. <laughs> and this is what I'm looking for. OK. Someone who appeared in a One Direction music video, but who also worked as a hairdresser. Mm. OK, so those are the two things I'm looking for in a perfect match. Is my perfect match... Danny DeVito or David Cameron? <laughs> I like this choice less. <laughs> For me, I'm going to be honest. The with. couple's photo with you and Danny is one that I would want to see. <laughs> it's going to be a challenging first kiss. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you thinking? For some reason, I want to go with Danny. I can imagine him... Well, he's quite short, isn't I he? I feel like <laughs> I've seen a One Direction music video with Danny DeVito. I think I let's go Danny. Danny. David Cameron's not cutting on his hair, I don't think. No. It's Danny DeVito. Let's go Danny. Look, he's even... He's, it's muscle memory. His fingers have gone into scissors. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he's ready. Yeah. So we're going to go Danny DeVito as my favourite yeah. match? Yeah, go on, Let's then. go, Danny. Is that correct? Was Danny DeVito in a One Direction video and did he work as a hairdresser? <laughs> Absolutely yeah. right. Very well done. Yeah. Uh, they have both been in One Direction videos. Have they? Yeah. David Cameron was in uh, one of their charity singles. Ah. They've both been in it, but only Danny DeVito was, was he a hairdresser. Was himself? I think he was. Yeah. He was uh, right. Niall's love interest, okay. as I yeah. recall. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Andy and Kirsty. I'm on the lookout for someone new. And that person must fulfil the following two criteria. It has to have a Mensa level IQ mm -hmm. and must have competed for Summer Olympic Games selection. Which of these two people is my perfect match? Frank Lampard or Gina Davis? I've worked with Frank Lampard. He's very bright and mm. I, I can quite believe he's... I forget what his Mensa is at, 100 and... 
40 is it or something? I don't know. I don't know. What did they play apart from football then? They did play football in the Olympics. It's a Great Britain team. Whereas Gina Davis, now, she is smart too. Could she be someone like a yeah, equestrian my, or a my, swimmer my or like ten towards Gina Davis, I think. So go Gina Davis? Yeah. Yes. Is Gina Davis my perfect match? She is indeed, yeah. yeah. They both got uh, Mensa level IQs. She completed an archery. Was it? Right. Gina Davis, yeah, for the US Olympic yeah, good. team. For her to qualify. Uh, final question in this round. Been very, very good so far. Sabrina and Matt, can we keep up the record? This is who I'm looking for now. I'm looking for someone who combines two qualities. Firstly, I want them to have appeared on Blockbuster before they were famous. By the way, that's actually a real qualification I like. Uh, <laughs> and also has had to have written a series of children's books. One of these two people fulfills both criteria. Stephen Merchant or Connie Huck? Oh. Connie Huck is has it... written some children's, children's books. books. Reimaginations of fairy tales. Mm. Stephen Merchant, I don't think, has written kids' books. And I feel like Connie probably would have been on Blockbusters. So, should we say Connie? Let's go Connie. Yeah, we're going to go Connie Huck. And Connie Huck is my perfect match. Let's find out. So, has Connie Huck appeared on Blockbusters and written a series of children's books? Come on. Absolutely yeah. right. Well done. They've both appeared on Blockbusters, but only Connie has written uh, those children's books. So, everyone got everything right. So, the yeah. entire last five minutes has been an absolute <laughs> waste of everybody's time. <laughs> uh, really good fun. But, yeah, exactly. That's the point, isn't it? Exactly the that. taking part. Kirsty and Sabrina, I wonder if you could swap back places, please? Yes. And let's take a look at the absolute zero difference that has made to our score, shall we? Although everyone's put some points on, so that's yeah. nice. Yeah. We bulked up a little bit. Told you, level up. You have leveled up. Sabrina and Kirsty, three points each. Andy with four, still with a one point lead. Matt Edmondson. <laughs> Let's play another round, shall we? Round three today is going to be. Opposites attract fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to show you some categories. Your first category is animated films. OK, I'm now going to show you some clues which are the opposites to the titles of animated films. Uh, here's your first one. What animated film is this clue the opposite to? Thawed. Yes, Andy. Frozen. Frozen. There you go. <laughs> you it. see? It's kind of it. simple, right? Yeah. yeah. Kind of simple. Here's your next animated film. The Plausibles. Yes, Sabrina. The in ah, The Incredibles. The Incredibles. Absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> Next animated film. Lake of Cats. Yes, that is Matt. Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs. Mm -hmm. Well done, Isle of Dogs. Back to Matt. Next category. Hats and headwear. What are the opposites of these, please? The answers are all hats and headwear. Batter. Andy. Bowler. Bowler. Well done. Ah. Thank you, Batman Bowler and Cricket. I was thinking of fish. Oh, yeah. Fit long, lovely fish hat. <laughs> Next hat or headwear? Boar. Oh, no. Andy. Let's say drill. Drill? No. Uh, That's rubbish. Is it a boar? Boar. Ah. Matt. Fascinator. Fascinator. I think ah. it must be, wasn't it? <laughs> Very good. Ah. Next hat or headwear? Pestle disembark. Andy. Mortarboard. Mortarboard, yeah, ah. very well done. Pestle and mortar, board and disembark. Next category. Abba songs. Oh. OK, which Abba songs are the opposites of these? Guessing you, guessing me. Yes, that is Matt. Knowing me, knowing you. Knowing me, knowing you. Well done for getting the you and me the right way around. <laughs> Next to have a song. Lousy moaner. If someone never moans, what might we say they are? Like someone who never complains about anything, just, absolutely, just gets on with it. They're an absolute... <sighs> Andy. Super Trooper. Super Trooper, oh. surely. Oh. Super Trooper, right. absolutely right. But I feel ashamed accepting that point because you virtually... No, but I gave it to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you said that too. But that's also... true. <laughs> yes. You're all in the room, Andy, it's Back fine. Back off. Yeah. 
Um, final ABBA song, final question in this round. Fingers on buzzers. The loser gives it all away. No way. And oh, Andy <sighs> just beating Sabrina. The winner takes it the all. The winner yeah. takes it all. Andy Hamilton, very well done. And that is the end of round three. Let's take a look at our scores. That has changed them a little bit. Kirsty currently have three. Sabrina, four. Matt Edmondson has eight. One point in the lead now. Andy Hamilton with nine. <laughs> Lovely and close, isn't it? Two rounds to go. Two rounds until we find our Wednesday champion. Our next round is... Question writer's day off. Now, on this show, our question writers work very hard. We've seen that. You know, it takes them a long time to come up with lousy Mona, for example, as an opposite <laughs> of Super Trooper. Uh, so when I give them a day off every now and again, their children write the questions. OK? Right. Here are the names of the children of our question writers. And I need you to nominate one of those to ask you a question. I've got all their questions here, because they also write me a little note afterwards as to why they chose that question or okay. why they find it interesting. Andy, who would you like to go with? Um, I'll go with Ewan. Nine-year-old Ewan. OK, this is Ewan's question. What letter stands for the knight? So is it about chess? Chess, maybe... Um, oh, I don't know. Absolutely I flummoxed him here. Q? I, I don't know. You're going to say Q? Yeah. Ewan, is the answer Q? Oh, Ewan. Matt? I mean, I'll go for anything. X. So X it is not. Kirsty? K? K? Is not <laughs> Sabrina. I. So I. You uh, absolutely is, got them. Is it the chessboard? Is it's it the, the chess markings board. on the chessboard? But it's actually N. Oh. N is the answer to that. A well, nine-year-old oh, Ewan has flummoxed. Yeah. Ewan, uh, yeah. he, you could have warned me that Ewan was an exceptionally bright nine-year-old. Ewan says the K is for the king. It's quite right. Well done, Ewan. Absolutely well done, Ewan. Them. Wow. Nicely done, Sabrina. Who would you like? Let's go for Sylvie. Sylvie, you're going to go for. Ten-year-old Sylvie. Uh, Sylvie asks a question. What is the name for fear of the ocean? Oh, I love the question, Sylvie. You know that you have a phobia? Yeah, something, something yeah. a phobia, yeah. It says ocean, waves, water. Well, I'm acting like it's going to come to me. It's not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to have to pass. Anyone else fancy this, Kirsty? Aquaphobia. Is it aquaphobia? It is not. Anyone else want to go into some schoolboy creep? Oceanophobia, why not? Is it oceanophobia? It isn't. Andy? Maraphobia. Oh, cos, yeah, like... Oh, no, uh, no. Yeah. Is it maraphobia? Yeah. It is not. Now, no. listen, the answer is... Thalassophobia. Ah, oh. oh, oh, the thalasso yeah. treatment is water treatment. Thalassophobia. Is it really? Yeah, thalassophobia. Oh. It's from Greek, oh. isn't it? Thalassophobia. Sylvie says, I learnt this when researching phobias, as I have tripophobia, <laughs> which is a fear of holes. So do I. No. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. You can see you've got a fear of holes. I can borderline look at a crumpet. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, and Sylvie says, and so I was interested in other names for unusual phobias. So brilliant. Oh, That's brilliant. a good well, question, that's a good Sylvie. Way to learn as well. um, thus far, Young children, two. Yeah. Everyone in the studio, zero. <gasps> Kirsty, who would you like to go with? I'm going to go for Nola. You're going to go Nola? So, five year old Nola. What have you got for us this week, Nola? <laughs> I got a pet in lockdown. <laughs> Does it have a tail? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, everyone else, fingers on buzzers if Kirsty gets this wrong. Wait a minute. OK. <laughs> Goldfish, hamster, dog, cat, horse, rabbit. Doesn't have a tail. Yes, it does have a bunny tail. Mm. Is she trying to trick me by making me think it's not? She's five! <laughs> yeah, exactly! <laughs> I think you're overthinking it. I, th I think I'm just going to do a yes. If that's correct, you get yourself a point. If it's incorrect, we've got ourselves the mother of all buzzer races coming up. Yeah. So, uh, Nola got a pet in lockdown, does it have a tail? <laughs> yes, it <laughs> does have a tail. <laughs> well, Thank I'm you, Nola! <laughs> Nola says it's a cat called Rosie Batman. <laughs> and she is half Bengal and half Lewisham street cat. Ooh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, yeah. Nola. Um, Matt, who would you like to choose? I'm going to go for Mari. Mari, eight years old, and this is her question. How long is a sheep pregnant for? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. When you see a sheep 
give birth on telly, they're always <laughs> able to walk, so their development might be quite a long time. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to go for 11 months. Is the answer 11 months? It is not. The answer is in months. Andy? Five. Five months, is that right? It is oh. right. Well played, Andy Hamilton. All those years as a sheep farmer pay off now. Finally. Uh, Mari says, I like sheep and I know lots about them because my daddy grew up on a farm in Scotland. Oh. Lovely. Good question. Andy, back to you. Who would you like? I'll go Albie 11. Albie 11. Albie's question is this. Which player has played for Arsenal and plays for Switzerland, but his family is Albanian like me, and he also has the birthday 27th of September like me? <laughs> I'm going to go for Granite Xhaka. Albie. Is the answer Granite Xhaka? It is, you know. Uh, very oh well played, God. Andy. Well played, Albie, as well. Arsenal supporting son, which he's out of the will, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Albie says he has a brother who also plays for Switzerland, but not Arsenal. The, the lucky one, as I believe his name is. The other Xhaka. Xhaka Khan. <laughs> uh, Sabrina, who would you like to go for? I'll go for Cuba. So you're going for Cuba. What does the acronym Rucksack stand for in a maths lesson? I actually had to resit my maths GCSE, so... Did you? I'm guessing Rucksack escaped. <laughs> well, do you know what? I'm going to give all of you a little clue. It's not like a maths thing, it's more a how to approach an exam. OK. It's literally mm. just a series of words as well. Yeah. Mm. Time me out. Yeah, time me out. You've had tough ones, yeah. Sabrina. Oh. Andy. I think the second half might be stop and check. You got the last word oh, right. Okay. Great. Let's time everyone out because we're going to get nowhere near this, Cuba. Nah. But it's a useful acronym, I would say. Should we take a look at what it is? Mm. Read, understand, ah. oh, choose, God. <laughs> solve, answer, check. We have to have some sympathy with Cuba because he says it's maths assessment week at school. Boo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Cuba. Well, good Absolutely. luck. Good luck, yeah. Cuba. Kirsty, who would you like to choose? I'll go for Hussein. Going for Hussein. <laughs> Hussein asks, what is the capital of Madagascar? The thing about this is I have no idea. Yeah, it's not guessable, is it, if you don't know? So, it's either going to be Madagascar City in Madagascar or something else, but as I don't know there's something else, I'm just going to go for Madagascar. Is it Madagascar or Madagascar City? It is not. Andy. It's a very good question, Hussein, and I believe the answer is Antonin Arivo. Antonin Arivo? Is the right answer, Andy? Well played. Andy, how do you know that? Because I've been to Madagascar. Have you? Ah, oh, have you? Yeah. Is it nice? It's wonderful. Uh, and Hussein says, I memorised all the capitals of the world when my dad and I used to play a game when I was younger. This is the most difficult one to remember. Oh. Final question in this round. Matt. I think it's a tough one. I'm going to go for Raphael. Now, Raphael, another legend of the game. Here is Raphael's question. What musical function is this? And he means that sideways V. Mm. Yeah. He does, yes. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea. So despite getting into music, music production, I can't read music. Does it mean that it's a key change? It's not. Yes, Sabrina. It means to get quieter. You're absolutely right. Diminuendo, Diminuendo. is the answer. Brilliant. Yeah. Raphael, who is nothing if not looking for a job on the show, says this means you are getting gradually softer. If they said decrescendo, then they should also get the points. Oh. <laughs> that is the end of that round. Thank you so much to our wonderful question setters there. Well played, everybody. One round to go on Wednesday's House of Games, and our scoreboard looks a little bit like this. It's a high scoring day today. Kirsty, you have four. Sabrina, five. Matt, you have eight. Look at Andy Hamilton again. I'll lead there with 12 points. It was the sheep thing. Pregnant sheep in the capital of Madagascar. Yeah. <laughs> All you <laughs> ever need to know. <laughs> you know maths, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, final round, answer smash. Oh. Oh. Pep talk time. Sabrina, mm. Kirsty, thus far, every single point in this round has been scored by uh, Andy or Matt. Don't know. It's so, just really hard to get ahead. But that's the thing in this round, is you, your brain does slightly get into it. Yes. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Your first category is... 
18 film stars. Those will be the pictures, there'll be clues above. Which of the founding fathers known as the first American appears on the $100 bill? Matt. Benjamin Frank Lindsay Lohan. Benjamin Frank Lindsay Lohan. He's good. He's good. Benjamin Frank Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. Benjamin Frank Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Next clue. Next teen star. Which novel by Lionel Shriver tells the story of a mother's relationship with her incarcerated son? Well, yes, that is Matt. Is it There's Something About Kevin Bacon? There's Something About Kevin Bacon? It's incorrect. <laughs> Kirsty. We need to talk about Kevin Bacon. We need to talk about Kevin Bacon for a point. Oh, of course. He is absolutely ah. right. Well done, Kirsty. Oh, there we go. The, duck. the <sighs> seal is broken. The duck, the seal, many other marine animals, <laughs> they've all been broken. Um, next category. Bathroom items. <laughs> Here we go. Which song from the Disney film Bambi is about a brief spell of wet weather? Yes, Matt. Little April Shower Curtain. Yeah, Little April Shower Curtain. <laughs> Next one. In 2007, St Pancras replaced which train station as the London terminus for Eurostar services? <laughs> yes, Andy. Waterloofer. Waterloofer? Well played, Andy. Ooh. Waterloo and Loofer. Next bathroom item. Which I, Claudius actor plays Alan in Last Tango in Halifax? <laughs> yes, Andy. Derek... Uh, oh, Derek Jacobiday. Derek Jacobiday? <laughs> yes. <Yeah, okay. laughs> well played, Andy, absolutely. Derek Jacoby and Abiday. If you're watching, Derek, I yeah. apologise. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> yeah. That course should be Sir Derek Jacobiday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next category. Oh, oh, well done oh, for God. Wednesday. Kirsty, broke your duck in that round. Broke my duck, Very thank well God. Done. Lovely to see. On Monday, our champion was Matt Edmondson. On Tuesday, it was Andy Hamilton. Who has won Wednesday's House of Games? It is another big win for Andy Hamilton. Well played, Andy. Great, nicely done. Five point victory. And you get yourself another prize. Which of these would you like to be taking home with you? <laughs> I mean, most people take the luggage, it's good. Yeah, but the, the hairbrush good. feels slightly ironic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the chopping board. Andy Hamilton takes home a House of Games chopping board. Let's take a look at our weekly leaderboard. The gents are starting to put out a little lead here. Sabrina, you've got four. Kirsty, six. Matt on ten. Andy Hamilton just knows you out in front there on 11, but two days ago, including double points Friday. So all still to play for. I look forward to seeing all of you here on Thursday. Look forward to seeing you here on Thursday as well on the House of Games. If Richard cheeses me off, I'll just dead like that. Yeah, oh. Yeah, I'll just blank him. That is brutal.